Milwaukee Bucks player Sterling Brown has officially filed his lawsuit against the city of Milwaukee and Milwaukee police. The lawsuit stems from a January arrest where officers tased Brown after he parked illegally in a handicapped parking spot. Now, the lawsuit is pretty lengthy, but here are some of the details, some of the key points. Uh, first of all, Brown's lawyer, Mark, Mark Thompson, alleges police violated Brown's civil rights. The lawsuit alleges officers tried to reframe what happened to give the impression Brown resisted and obstructed them. The federal complaint filed today is 40 pages long. The most glaring part of the lawsuit, Facebook posts from one of the officers who was part of the arrest. Pete Zervakis has been coming through that lawsuit, joining us now with more on the details. One of the officers named in the suit is accused of joking about Brown's arrest on social media. The complaint includes this screenshot of Officer Eric Andrade's Facebook page saying, nice meeting Sterling Brown of the Milwaukee Bucks at work this morning. Months later, after Cleveland Cavaliers player J.R. Smith made a mistake during an NBA Finals game, the complaint shows Andrade wrote, I hope J.R. Smith double parks in Walgreens handicapped parking spots when he's in Milwaukee. Brown's lawyer says the public tipped him off to the posts. I felt that it was important to know how people are responding and how the defendant officers are responding. The federal criminal complaint alleges Brown's civil rights were violated. Newly released video from an officer's body camera shows one officer during the arrest remove his gun from its holster. He puts it back in moments later. According to MPD, officers on the scene thought Brown was armed because paper targets with bullet holes in them could be seen in his car. The fact that someone would pull their gun for a traffic ticket should trouble all of us. Now that the suit is filed, the city and individual defendants will have the chance to respond. Thompson thinks they should admit to the alleged offenses. So if they go on the record and say that you would consider dropping the suit? I don't think we'd, I think if they say that, then I think they're sending a message that they want this thing over sooner than later. While he admits he's hoping to settle, Brown's lawyer says he is willing to see this lawsuit out, even if it takes years. All right, well, one Milwaukee alderman thinks that the lawsuit is too harsh on current police chief Alfonso Morales. Brown's arrest happened when Ed Flynn was chief of the department. We spoke with Mark Borkowski today to get his reaction to how Chief Morales is handling the case. The previous regime um, I place some blame uh, on the previous regime. Chief Morales is, is kind of cleaning up, and so uh, I think he's doing the best that he can. The entire lawsuit, again, is 40 pages long. It outlines the transcripts of more than four hours of body camera footage. During that arrest, we have the entire document on our website at TMJ4.com.